Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Here on the channel you'll find me chatting about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet and weaving, all of the fibre related things. Today's video, having said that, is really about none of those things but also all of them. <laughs> I'm not making any sense am I? But you'll have guessed from the title of the video. It's a shop update video. So for anyone who may be new to the channel you may not be aware that I run my own small online yarn shop from here in my home in South Wales. It used to be my local bricks and mortar yarn shop but sadly the landlord of the premises that I was renting sold the building and I had to pivot and I have swapped to currently being an online yarn store only. So every now and then I throw up on the channel a video chatting about about what's happening, what's new in the shop. Now I know that's not something that everyone will be interested in which is why I try to keep these videos to a sort of self-contained video. So if it's not something that you're interested in then thank you so much for popping by and I hope you I will see you again soon. There'll be more making content coming up um, on the channel shortly. However if you are sticking around, if you are interested, thank you so much. I do appreciate your continued support and the interest that you have in all of the things that I'm up to here at Yarn and Yarns, not just the making, also my little small business too. It's been quite a few months actually since I posted one of these videos. I was trying to get in the habit of posting one each month but I don't know what's happened the last few months have just got away from me so I'm back again I've got quite a bit to chat to you about but I'm going to try and keep it as brief as possible um, I've got what have I got to tell you about I've got new yarns including a completely brand new brand for yarn and yarns I've got um, some Emma Ball news I know lots of you are fans of Emma Ball products I've got some chat about some um, notions from Knit Pro, some new notions from Knit Pro um, and some updates for um, some of our old favourite sock yarns, Opal and West Yorkshire Spinners. So yeah, I hope you'll stick around. Um, I'll try and, if there's stuff that you're particularly interested in, I will try and put sort of time links chapters into this video so um, that should all be labelled below the video and you can skip to parts that you might be more interested in should you choose to do so. So first off, let's start with the brand new yarn line that I have. Earth Yarns are a European based yarn company and they reached out to me recently asking if I would be interested in becoming a stockist of their yarns and I, t I took a look at their catalogue and decided to take a chance and go for it um, and when I say take a chance I don't mean in terms of it's something strange wacky weird yarn it's not it's absolutely beautiful uh, but these yarns are a little bit more on the um, expensive side on the price point and so it's always a risk bringing in something new that's not tried and tested and um, to know whether um, folks out there will like it but I've seen these yarns for sale in other shops and they seem to be reasonably popular so I decided to take a chance and go for it and yeah just see you don't know until you try the yarns that I have I've got some beautiful self-striping sock yarn and it's yeah, it's just so beautifully soft and the packaging is gorgeous so a real lovely treat for any sock yarn knitters but of course as I always say with these l yarns that are labelled as a sock yarn you don't have to knit socks with them anything you can knit with a four ply yarn you can use these yarns for and I have seen people knitting mitts and hats and sweaters and all sorts of things from these gorgeous yarns so yeah let's take a look at some of the yarns that I've bought in the unique self-striping sock range. Now I haven't bought up with me every single colour that I have bought into stock. Um, I've just got a selection but there will be links below this video to the relevant page on the Yarn and Yarns website where you can see all of the colours that I have got in stock and I think I've got maybe eight or nine colours that I decided to try. There are a couple of special editions which I have and this is one of them. This is the Colourway Harmony and it's a gorgeous rainbow self-striping yarn and here you can see what I mean about the packaging. They come in these lovely sturdy cardboard boxes and they're 250 gram skeins so you can make matching socks and there is a beautiful picture on the side of the box which gives you an idea of how the yarn will knit up. I do have another special edition as well that I wanted to share with you because I thought this was quite fun quite interesting and love the idea of it and this is the zebra colorway and black and white as you can imagine look at that beautiful packaging um wouldn't these just make the nicest gift for someone and there's again a picture on the side of the box of what the sock might look like when you knit it up and then i do have some of their sort of standard 
uh, sock kits as well. I've got quite a few different colours in this particular yarn and again it shows you on the side of the packaging um, what the particular colour that's in your box might look like when it's knit up. And I was really thrilled that um, when my order arrived they actually sent me a pair of sample socks already knit up so this is the chevron striped sock which i believe is a pattern available on ravelry and this is colorway number 65 the um the regular sock colorways unfortunately just have numbers they don't have any fancy names but let me try and hold one of these up isn't that fabulous it just gives a really good idea i mean a picture on the box is great uh, but i think an actual sample gives you a really good idea of the fun colors in this beautiful yarn uh, so yes that's the earth yarn unique sock for those of you who may have got the bug for <laughs> working on christmas projects after our christmas in july make along there is a christmas colorway a christmas um, colorway in the special edition of that sock yarn as well i've got a few balls of that in stock so uh, yeah do take a look um, via the link below uh, to all of the, the colours that I have available. As well as the unique sock, I decided to go for a couple of their gradient kits as well. Um, now, these kits are really lovely because not only do they come um, as a beautiful gradient, as the name suggests, but you also get a lovely shawl pattern um, in with these kits as well. And I've got three different colourways to start with because these are, again, a little bit more on the um, sort of luxury side the more expensive side although I think for what you get it's really no money at all when you look at some other things that are out there actually I'll pop a picture of the shawl on the screen now because um, these are all beautifully packaged up and I don't want to sort of open it up to share with you um, any of the things inside I want to keep these sort of as dust free and clean as possible for um, people um, to to receive them in the best condition possible so the pattern included is the garden trellis shawl which is a pattern by roseanne fleischauer I'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly um, but yeah there's a printout of the pattern on the kit and in the kit you get four 50 gram skeins of beautiful merino yarn and again this as with the sock yarn it's so super soft and lovely and as you can see um, it's beautifully dyed in a gradient and of course the kit also comes in its own plastic bag with a zipper pouch um, so yeah 450 gram skeins that you can use to knit the garden trellis shawl although of course you can knit any shawl pattern or anything you want with these again um, it's just a beautiful gradient set so I have got three colours available I've got this beautiful pink that I have been just waving around I have also let's put that one down um, I went for the neutral so the grey and then finally I've also gone for the green as well um, which is just absolutely stunning uh, and again it's the same idea you go from dark to a mix to uh, sort of a lighter one with a, a speckle of the dark and then the lighter so yeah just beautiful beautiful gradients so i've got a couple of each of those as well they have some beautiful speckled yarn as well which i have bought a couple of skeins to sample um, i'm going to see how well the gradient kits and the self striping sock goes before I place any more because as I say it's a little bit more expensive for me to bring in because I'm basically importing it from Europe now that well let's not talk about that uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah it will basically depend on how well these sell as to um, whether I bring in more colorways and whether I expand my range of the earth yarns I'd really like to because the yarns are beautiful but ultimately it depends how popular they are while we're on the subject of yarn let's chat about some of our well known and loved favourites. Um, I do have, and if you follow on Instagram you'll already know, um, I've had the newest range from Opal in stock which is one of their rainforest collections. I haven't brought these yarns up with me to share but again I will pop a picture on the screen and unfortunately a couple of these colourways have sold out but if you go to the, if you are interested in anything and you go to the website and the one that you want is sold out just pop me a message if it's still available with my stockist I'll happily get it in for you. Um, the thing I love about the Rainforest range is that for every ball sold the um, company behind Opal donate money to um, charities and organisations that are dedicated to try to protect and preserve our rainforests which I just think is a lovely little extra um, so yeah the opal rainforest is available on the website 
And finally, um, there are some new solid colours from West Yorkshire Spinners. And again, if, if you followed um, on Instagram, you'll have seen these already, me posting about them there. It's because I've had such a long stretch without doing one of these shop update videos. I have brought up with me the pattern book which um, accompanies the collection of yarns so if I remember I'll pop up some pictures on the screen of the yarns um, but they're basically actually I can show you in the back of the book let's let's forget about putting up pictures because that's more work for poor old editing Ange um, this picture beautifully shows the range of new colours so as you can see um, they're beautiful sort of jewel tones they're really bright um, they're just absolutely gorgeous and there is an accompanying pattern book which is called happy feet and these are four patterns designed by winnick mum um, who often works with west yorkshire spinners and it uses a combination of the new colors and then also some of the old favorites from the solid range there are four patterns um, in this book and i think some of them um, employ color work and some of them employ mosaic um, type knitting um, which is where your slipping stitches and yeah they're just absolutely gorgeous as you would expect from Winnick Mum and they're very sort of detailed in the pattern explanation as well so let me try and flash you some of the patterns um, so this one is called Maze then we have Raw which you might be able to imagine from the colours is one of my favourites <laughs> but of course you know you don't have to stick to the colours that have been used in the pattern you can mix and match to your own taste uh, then we have Hive and then the last pattern is called Zoom. So I think that's everything for yarn news for now. Um, I do have some more new things coming, hopefully in the next few weeks, but I shall save those to chat about for the next shop update video. I will mention quickly, I didn't mention this at the start, but Fibre Club um, for all of you spinners out there. If you happen to watch this video on the day that I'm posting it, so on Monday, you will just about be able to catch the pre-order for the August iteration of the Yarn Yarns Mystery Fibre Club. The theme for this month is Pebble Beach and if you're watching one of these videos for the first time and you're wondering what Fibre Club is, um, it's basically a mystery club that I offer on a monthly basis. You sign up month to month and um, every month you get uh, your choice of either some Rolags or some mini bats, 50 grams worth of fibre in colours that I blend up and it's the sort of colour and fibre combination that's a mystery. You get a hint as to the theme of the box and as I say this month is Pebble Beach um, but that is all you get I'm afraid. <laughs> um, usually I put at the end of these videos a little sort of glimpse at what was in the last month's fibre box to give you an idea if it's something that you might be interested in taking a chance on uh, but I totally forgot <laughs> to record anything um, in connection with the August fibre box and I think that was because we were really gearing up to go away to visit family for a long weekend and I was trying to squeeze everything in and I, it just completely slipped my mind so sorry no um, sort of spoiler section at the end of this video for the August fibre club oops <laughs> I'll try better next month <laughs> But yeah, the pre-orders close today, basically. So if you are watching this, it's not on the day that I've posted, then I'm afraid for this month, the pre-order will be closed. However, um, I usually put the pre-orders up um, for the following month in the sort of last week of the month so the listing for the september club should go up at the end of august next up i have some accessories some notions to chat to you about um, nipro have recently bought out a new range which they're calling their mindful collection and so i decided it's been a while i think since i've had um, too many new things from nipro so i decided to splurge and bring in some of their new products and they all come beautifully packaged in um some sort of pouch or other <laughs> depending on what product you get so i've got a few things to chat to you about um, the first one and if you have been watching the patreon videos if you're a member of our patreon community you will have seen me using these um, already but they've bought out a beautiful new set of wooden darning needles that come in this lovely um, i think it's a birchwood tube and inside are four lovely wooden darning needles and I have been trying these out myself they are on the larger side for needles there's two different sizes one sort of slightly taller than the other I have been really enjoying these the one thing I would say is I think 
if you work with four ply fingering weight yarn a lot these may not be the best needles for you because the eyes are quite big and when I was working with my four ply yarns um, particularly superwash yarns that are quite slippery these um, needles are lovely and smooth um, the yarn was sometimes slipping out although in some cases that was an advantage because if you end up like me sometimes you don't leave yourself a very long sort of tail to weave your ends in um, it was very easy to uh, sort of thread these needles through a few stitches and then poke the end of the yarn through the, that eye because it is nice and big uh, but yeah I think they're just a beautiful set and I have actually been using these quite a lot in some of my weaving projects as well so if you're a weaver these could be um, a nice one for you if you like to do sort of tapestry weaving and you um, need something just to wiggle through a few strands of your warp yarn um, then I've been finding lots of joy in working that way with this set of needles and um, they also have some new scissors now a little while ago I had the rose gold folding scissors um, these ones have a kind of rainbow type finish And as with the rose gold, I won't do it because obviously these ones are shop stock, but you basically just pull them out and they pop in up into scissors and then you can uh, sort of fold them away um, when you're not using them. So they're great for travel as well. Also got a tape measure in this range. Now this is a little bit more on the expensive side. It's a sort of retractable tape measure. So I've only actually got two of these in stock. Um, but for anyone who really likes the beautiful sort of green and tealy colors in this collection, um, yeah I think this is just a gorgeous and it's a solid wood uh, tape measure so hopefully it was going to last you for quite some time so although it might be a little bit more on the expensive side for a tape measure I think it's something uh, that you know is going to last you um, for hopefully a lifetime if you look after it <laughs> to say about a tape measure but um, again it comes in its own little pouch to go with the sort of colour theme they've got a beautiful set of stitch markers I'm not going to empty these out um, but there's a set of 100 um, stitch markers in various sort of styles and sizes uh, so if I try and hold the label up to you that might give you an idea of what will be um, in this stitch marker set a stitch marker or a progress keeper for every purpose in there I think they have some slightly more expensive stitch markers as well and these are sterling silver plated no less <laughs> um, and these let me try and get these out to share with you so these are sort of ring markers and they come with a few different sort of sizes of rings um, so there's some smaller ones to pop on your smaller needles and some larger ones to pop on the larger and they all have these beautiful stenciled out details they're calling these the chakra uh, markers so I've got a couple of those in stock too. And then to complete the mindful collection, if you wanted to collect all of the pieces, um, they've also bought out a, another um, silver plated notion. And I can't really show this to you because they've wrapped it up beautifully inside um, the pouch that it comes in. So again, I will show you the um, picture on the label, but it's a needle gauge. So um, it's I'm sure you've seen them before they basically have um, all of the different sort of needle sizes punched out and you can use them to figure out your needle sizes if you've got a collection of needles like me and they sometimes get jumbled up <laughs> and you're not sure what size is what so yeah they're always useful to have in your knitting toolkit everything in the knit pro mindful collection and then finally i have some new ish products from Emma Ball. I say newish because again these have been on the website for a couple of weeks but um, because I haven't done one of these videos I thought I would catch you up. But I've got some lovely new products from Emma Ball in stock. Um, first up I have got a couple of the pencil cases and I thought these would be not only great as pencil cases but also for keeping your crochet hooks in if you're a crocheter and um, I've got two designs in these. I've got the sheep in sweaters and also the puffins, the woolly puffins. And the thing that I was most excited about in the most recent sort of new product launch from Everball were the needle rolls. So I've got um, 
a few different designs in the lovely needle rolls to share with you and I've brought two of those up for some strange reason but there are three different types of these so let's share those with you. Um, so this one is the interchangeable um, needle holder so let me just unroll this and inside here you'll find lots of different sort of compartments which have got the different um, sort of needle sizes labelled on them so you can keep all of your interchangeable tips um, again whoops, in order. And as you can probably see, there's a sort of zip pouch on the side. So you could put um, your notions or your cords, extenders, all those sorts of bits and pieces in the side of those. And it rolls up and it has a lovely strap that you can wrap around, keep all of those tips in place and secure. I also have a similar um, holder. but This is designed for circular needles, um, so fixed circulars. Um, and this one doesn't have sizes marked in it but it does have um, sort of various sort of pouches inside for you to slot your needles in and each of these pouches also has a really handy um, sort of popper you could loop your needle cord in there um, and that's and then close up the popper if you had a needle either side of the popper um, then that's going to keep all of your circulars really secure inside there and again um, it has a zippered pouch down the side for extra bits and bobs and then finally i have uh, just one that's called a needle roll and this one is more designed for uh, sort of straight needles so it's quite a sort of tall piece of fabric and it's got um, sort of various again little compartments little sections down the bottom for you to slot your needle uh, so yes they are all available and i'm not sure if i've actually mentioned anywhere that i've got those i'm sure i probably have put it on instagram but Hmm, note to self, check Instagram posts because I might need to um, just remind people that I've got those. <laughs> and then finally from Emma Ball, not new, but new to the shop, new to yarn and yarns, I have brought in a couple more designs in the beautiful porcelain mugs. I think I had the Woolly Puffins mug before because a lot of the other mugs were out of stock, um, but when I placed my last order, I was able to get the beautiful sheep in sweater mugs. Um, so as you can see, these come in a beautiful sort of gift box and then inside are the now familiar sheep in sweaters <laughs> on this beautiful mug. And then I also got the um, stitched birds design as well because that one is also one of my, one of the most popular sort of ranges of designs from Ember Ball. And it's got lots of beautiful garden birds on there. So yes, I think that's everything I'm going to tell you about today. I do have other things, um, but I'm conscious of taking up your time and I needed to also get this edited and uploaded. <laughs> so um, I hope that I will get back into the groove of doing these on a more regular basis so that I don't have quite so much to bombard you with um, each month. It's quite nice if I can come up and show you like one or two new things each time um, rather than a whole plethora. But yeah, um, things just got away from me and it's been a while so I hope you don't mind <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye for now I should be back again soon with some more making content here on the channel so I hope you will join me for that but until we do get to spend time together again I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy I'm off to go and cool down a bit <laughs> as always great big woody hugs to you all bye for now bye